The Browns' performance today was so bad, I'm actually starting my postgame show with seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter after the Jordan Aikens touchdown because we don't need to wait any longer to talk about this game. Let the ranting and the venting commence. Everything's on the table. I'm talking firing Kevin Stefanski. I'm talking Andrew Barry deservingly getting placed on the hot seat. I'm talking benching Deshaun Watson. There is no opinion. There is no feeling too strong or too far right now. You just got your ass beat against a commander's team with the mid-defense, and it took you nearly the entire game to score a touchdown. And that was after the commanders pretty much pulled all their starters and just mailed it in for the fourth quarter. So much frustration right now. And, of course, all of it, and today, deservingly so, starts with Deshaun Watson. He was bad today. I mean, there were moments where, sure, his teammates weren't helping him out whether it was Jerry Judy with a drop in the end zone, the offensive line still allowing too many pressures. But that one fumble where he's got an open receiver downfield, he holds on to the ball for too long, and it results in a turnover. That, to me, I wouldn't say completely summed up the entire season, but it summed up too much of the season, which is, sure, there's a lot of things that are failing the Browns that don't just involve Watson, but when he does have a good pocket, he holds on to it for too long and he bypasses an open receiver down the field. So yeah, there are moments where we can put blame elsewhere, but for what Watson's getting paid and for his ability, he's not playing even like an average quarterback too many times. I don't know where you go with it from here. You could bench him. I'm not going to be too upset if they bench Deshaun Watson. I don't think it's going to change the result of games. I think that's how bad the rest of the offense has been. That's the really tough pill to swallow here. Is sure, benching Deshaun Watson seems appropriate for the way he has played for much of the season. But is it any better with Jameis? I don't think so. Which, by the way, we should have seen Jameis Winston much earlier in this game. I mean, like I said, I'm filming this post-game show with six and a half minutes still counting in the fourth quarter. But the fact that We didn't see Jameis down 28 to open up the fourth. And the commanders go to Marcus Mariota. I'm not quite sure if it's an insecurity issue or what. But if you want to know if you have anything in Jameis, because we're trying to put together a decent season the rest of the way, you know, just better than this, 20 points on offense, wouldn't be a bad idea to turn to him. But despite all this, the the, the one thing that just I can't quite get over is as bad – as the offense has been, the defense seems to be getting not a pass, but just not enough attention for how bad they have been. The best thing that's happened to the Cleveland Browns defense in 2024 is the Cleveland Browns offense existing because all the focus goes on Watson and the offense. How about the defense getting torched? 34 points to a rookie quarterback? Like, give credit to Daniels. He's been phenomenal this year. But where's the Jim Schwartz of last year? Where's Miles Garrett in this pass rush? Where's Denzel Ward and these elite crew of DBs? This defense has been dog water this season. And the only thing that's gotten them out of trouble is the offense merely existing. So everyone's paying attention to it. It's time for the defense to get an ass chewing. They've been dog crap. The defense can't stop anything. They make just enough good plays like a JOK interception, a JOK force fumble recovered by Martin Emerson to kind of throw you off the scent. But then it like it's like the 2020-2021 Browns defense all over again. They just rear their ugly head. Defense has been trash this year. So much wrong with the defense. And so many questions that I don't have answers to for how players have just fallen off the face of the world. Like, Martin Emerson, what happened to him? Right? JOK has become like what most linebackers are this day and age, which is they make some really good plays, and then they make you want to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge with some other place. Like, JOK has J- Jaden Daniels on a key, was it fourth down, third down, in the backfield, and Daniel scampers for 25 yards. Like, that's not the play of the game. That wasn't the turning point. But 
when you start adding up all those plays, this is the result you get. An absolute beatdown by the commanders. More ranting in a second. I do have to give a quick shout out to our sponsor. Otherwise, they're going to rant at me for not shouting them out. Game time. I don't recommend going to Browns games, but if you are brave enough to do it, at least save some money while doing it. You could save $20 with game time. Plus, they have the game time picks, which filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, but again, create an account and redeem code CHAT Sports for $20 off. I put all that information in the comments and description of today's video. Go support Game Time if you want to go catch a playoff baseball game or any other, any other sporting event in your area. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Game Time. Let's talk about Stefanski. I think it's fair to criticize. I think it's fair to question his future with this team right now, which is crazy to say after getting a contract extension a few months ago. But you're one and four, and I don't know where your next win's coming. Doesn't look like it's going to be next week in Philadelphia. You're looking at going zero and three on this three-game road trip, which didn't look like I had much intimidation or teeth to it. Lost to a Raiders team without Max Crosby and Devontae Adams. You get dog walked by a rookie quarterback and Jaden Daniels. And now you're going to go play a tough Eagles crew that's not going to be an easy out. Plus, they're coming off a bye. You're looking at 1-5. and five. This season has gone down the drain so quickly. And it, it's a bummer for how good they were last year. But this is the NFL where you do get some teams that just fall out of nowhere. And it feels like this year, that's the Browns. They're the one taking it for the AFC going, we're the team that's going to miss the playoffs after winning 11 games last year. So what do you think? Time to fire Stefanski? I mean, he's won two-time coach of the year. I don't care about that right now. That feels meaningless to me. Kevin Stefanski, I thought, was supposed to put together a great offense with Ken Dorsey and Deshaun Watson. And this offense doesn't look like anyone's on the same page. It doesn't look in sync. It doesn't look coached. It doesn't look prepared after the first scripted drive. It doesn't look like it has any resemblance of identity or consistency. Here's the Browns offense summed up in a nutshell. You ready? First down, unsuccessful run, second and 10. Second down, bad pass from Watson, incomplete. Oh, Jameis just coming to the game right now, by the way. Third down, blitz comes because the other team knows the Browns have to pass and they can't stop the blitz, and it's a sack, and the Browns punt on third and 16. That's the Browns offense 90% of the time. Here comes Jameis. Let's see what he does in real time. First and 10 for Jameis. They're going to run it every single time with Deontay Foreman. Which, by the way, I kind of hate Foreman and Ford getting some long runs in the fourth quarter. That run game had four carries for 40 yards to uh, end the half. Disastrous. So, to wrap up the video here and let you guys be freed from this misery, should the Browns bench Deshaun Watson? Hard to make a big argument not to. For me, I kind of go back to, I don't think it's going to be better. But you can't continue trying this. It's not working. But I don't think Haslam and Barry and Stefanski want to accept that this Watson trade and contract has been an utter disaster. And once you bench him, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. There's no turning back at that point. You want to bench Watson, I'm not going to try and stop you from arguing that. I'm just going to say, I don't think it's going to be much better of an offensive performance. That's how bad the offensive line, the drops from the receivers, and the ground game have been. And Nick Chubb is no miracle worker. Mother Teresa is not stepping onto the field to save the Browns' season. I feel bad for Chubb. Injury, rehab, work his way back, and he's like the scene, it's like the scene out of community. He's walking with pizzas to an absolute fire. It's a shitstorm. Poor Chubb. But make sure to subscribe to. There's no other Browns YouTube channel that's going to go live, I think, every single game this year. Win or lose, we're going to be here with you all. So if you're looking for a channel that's not quitting on at least talking about this team, that's us right here. Hit that sub button down below.